Hi there, this is Marcus. Give me a couple of minutes to explain you MapCom view features and how to create flyover animations with one click. So let's get it started. I've got a map comp here with a like a pitch and um, I've got Florida and Washington downloaded. First thing that you notice when I uh, double click this feature, I can fit my map comp view to it. And uh, right now the map comp stays at the same bearing and pitch as I fit my view to one of these features. But you might want to have a certain view with a certain bearing and pitch for a certain location, so a certain feature. And um, we can do that. So I'm fitting my, my view as I want it here for Florida. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to add a map comp view feature. I'm going to call this Florida. And we get a feature like this with this frame icon in front. And we can do the same for Washington. So I'm double clicking Washington here and I would like to have my pitch and bearing reset for this feature. And same as before, I'm going to hit map come view here. Type in Washington. And now I get two features. And these view features consist of the latitude, longitude, zoom, and the bearing and the pitch. So when I now jump back by double clicking my Florida feature here, we've got the bearing and pitch that we just had set up. And if I jump to Washington again, our bearing and pitch is reset to zero. Now this comes pretty handy, especially when animating views. So let me show you how to create a flyover animation. Our map comp is located at Washington and I'm going to select Florida here and we can now click animate view to feature. And GeoLayers is going to ask us how long do we want our animation to be and this is going to be five seconds so I hit create animation and with just this one click we have created this cool little flyover animation here. Of course it's not finalized that's why we see those black holes in the imagery, but as soon as we finalize this map comp, our animation is done. And here's a pro tip. GLIRS eases your view animations in a certain way. And if we're going to have a look at the preferences, um, you can see, first of all, the settings smooth and view animation. So if you switch this off, those will just be like linear keyframes. And we also have a ease in and ease out amount. Easing in and out uh, can be easily misunderstood, but here's how it works. If time progresses, you're going out of the keyframe, that's the value for ease out, and you're going into another keyframe, that's the value for ease in. And you can play around with these values to achieve different results. Those settings will apply to each animation GLRs creates on your view. So I hope you learned a bit about MapCom view features and how to automatically animate your view.